begin with God's blessed name and uh, we wish peace and blessings for all who this uh, greeting reaches. Uh, we have been asked, uh, my wife and I, to, uh, by friends and others, to uh, forward a recording in the English language. And, uh, we attempt to do so. And, uh, we want to start off by uh, forwarding a greeting of peace and love to all our friends and uh, family members all around the world uh, as well as others who uh, this uh, recording may uh, reach. Uh, we have been on a journey, my wife and I, since we met uh, about 11 years ago uh, where we have been trying to purify our bodies uh, and our hearts uh, from uh, as much unhealthy attributes uh, as possible. And uh, we made a choice together to uh, try to establish and to seek a fully natural uh, lifestyle for ourselves and our family, uh, which is an uh, ongoing uh, strive. Uh, and uh, we live in a society and uh, more and more a world that has uh, left uh, the nature in many ways. Uh, and uh, with a quest of uh, living natural, you, you quickly become a little bit of a stranger, which is strange. Uh, and when you want to uh, live this type of lifestyle, a uh, lifestyle closely connected with uh, animals and uh, a natural agriculture rather than the big uh, industrial way uh, a more humble down to earth lifestyle like you 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 become a stranger uh, although this lifestyle should be very essential and uh, the knowledge and the practice thereof uh, will benefit people in uh, all ages and all times and uh, we have been blessed uh, my wife and I with uh, plenty of time on our side and uh, with the possibility to move around to move around and to travel uh, for many years and there is a saying that we used to refer to here and there which we want to put forward also in this video and, uh, it is said to have come from Jesus uh, may peace be with him uh, and it uh, says that uh, life is a bridge so get over the bridge uh, into the next life. Don't build on the bridge or don't build yourself stuck on the bridge. And uh, we have tried to follow this example uh, for our families uh, to live light and closely connected with the nature. To be surrounded with lakes and rivers and uh, forests and uh, the sea where you can find uh, fresh air and uh, fresh water and fresh food and uh, fresh and organic food both in the wild with wild belly, berries and, uh, but also with a uh, contact to the farmers and to farm to farming uh, and also uh, doing so you uh, you find uh, humble and friendly people uh, they are uh, really more of them on the countryside than in the cities. And uh, we also managed to spend uh, quite some time uh, without almost no electricity, uh, using uh, living lights and uh, an uh, iron uh, stone uh, stove, stove uh, to cook and to uh, get heat, as well as an uh, open fireplace uh, yeah, to warm ourselves and to also give light, which uh, we made with fresh woods from trees that we have taken down ourselves and cut ourselves, which has given us a great experience. And uh, we have been blessed to live uh, closely connected to animals and with animals uh, for quite some years and to practice uh, agriculture and to grow some of our own food as well as learning from others who have been uh, growers and farmers uh, for many years. And it has made us uh, very close as a family and close with our children. Uh, we have four children, we will come back to them a little bit uh, soon, a little bit more. 
and uh, it has also made us to start to stand up for the, our human rights uh, to to live in the nature and close to the nature and, uh, we have been uh, trying to dig into what people what kind of rights people actually have and people do have rights we have freedom and uh, we are born free and this is uh, proclaimed in the human rights articles uh, which have been forgotten in our day and age but we try to realize them in this uh, recording and such freedoms are uh, for an example the freedom of right to family life and to privacy and integrity and freedom uh, to choose faith and to uh, live and to practice uh, our belief everybody have that you have that we have that all human beings have that and uh, in the meantime we have been preparing ourselves uh, to be able to live Sw uh, to leave sweden uh, since we have realized that it's very difficult to actually claim your rights here you should have them but uh, when you ask for them like you don't really you don't really get them and this is uh, difficult uh, due to uh, more and more pressure from the governments and uh, from uh, forceful laws uh, laws as, uh, such as uh, force to education and the public school and uh, force to choose the governmental governmental recommendation when it comes to healthcare and uh, we do believe that uh, schooling and education and knowledge is very important it's a misunderstanding to think just because you don't like the public school to be the best uh, that you don't like school that's not true we, we truly like school but uh, we don't believe in just one way of school and, uh, in our opinion the main purpose of school it, uh, it has to teach the practical aspects of life and uh, to teach you how to live actually independently and in the forest because uh, yeah for us that is uh, an essential part of our life and of the faith that we want to live and in today's public school the, there is hardly no focus on uh, the nature and of faith uh, or very little and it's not right to force everyone to accept that that is the only way to school that is not right. For some maybe it's right, but uh, people have the freedom to choose, which is part of the human rights when it comes to school. Uh, we'll get back to that later with parents' right to actually choose education for their children. And uh, we also highly prioritize uh, knowledge about health and well-being. And we have been seeking uh, to live as healthy as we can uh, for many years and for all our children's life. And uh, we don't want to praise ourselves in any way. Uh, uh, we have our different, uh, our weaknesses. And, uh, uh, but we want to share our experience uh, with those who have interest. And uh, when it comes to our children, they have been blessed with a capacity to read and write and count uh, at a high level and at the early stage of their life and uh, they have uh, been blessed with the experience and capacity to, to fish and to be close with animals and to, uh, to grow and to plant and, uh, to make up fires themselves and to cook and to cut woods and uh, we have been able to be with them in this experience uh, as we said uh, thanks, to, thanks to God that we have, uh, we have had uh, time on our side for many years uh, and it is uh, the basic human right that every human being is born free and equal in value and rights, uh, which is also the foundation in the Swedish constitution, which proclaims that uh, everyone have right to freedom and dignity. And that is a ground that cannot be violated by other laws and uh, regulations. And also in regards to school, uh, we don't believe the public school to be the best or safest way in this day and age. Uh, in many ways, actually, it is uh, quite of a dangerous environment. Uh, we will not go all too deep in, that, uh, in this recording. We hope to return to that uh, in another one. And it's the same with health. There is not just one way to practice health. 
and a way that has to be forced for everybody. Like that, that, that is not uh, our our faith. Uh, and in our faith, we want to share a little bit about it in this recording. We uh, we want to uh, put God and His creation as the center of uh, our quest for health and well-being. And we want to have the right to choose a fully natural way, uh, without force, uh, for uh, this uh, secular way that the government promotes, which uh, actually have left the faith in God and in the nature to take on a synthetic and many times unnatural way when it comes to health and when it comes to uh, treatments regarding to health. And uh, we are making this recording uh, from Sweden and it's the summertime now and things are really blossoming and we hope that uh, good things will blossom from uh, this summer and from this recording for all who uh, this message reaches. Uh, we want to share, because it has been quite a public affair these days, that uh, our family is facing some uh, uh, serious tests and trials in our country at this moment. And uh, before we share a little uh, picture of this, we want to ask uh, all our friends and family members and others who want to join uh, us in a prayer for uh, peace and security and uh, protection for uh, our children and for us. And uh, we do not want to go too much into details in these recordings, but uh, we want to share a few things uh, as uh, respectfully as we can. And uh, the first thing we want to highlight is that uh, God is truly good uh, and uh, that the way forward in times of uh, tests and trials uh, it is to stay close to the truth uh, and to have patience and uh, we want to clarify clearly uh, that we do not want to spread any kind of anger, uh, sadness or hopelessness uh, rather we want to do the best we can to uh, spread a message of uh, peace and hope and uh, by the will of God this uh, can uh, uh, create posit uh, positive uh, changes and uh, for many people around the world uh, we have been blessed me and my wife with uh, four very loving children who we love very much our oldest son, Jibril, he has now reached the uh, age of eight. And he is truly a wonderful human being who he cares for all and he always shares with uh, all that he has to others. And he loves the nature, the birds and the bees and the trees and to fish and to be outside. Uh, whatever season it might be, he, he finds ways in the nature. And he is truly a good uh, big brother and he takes uh, great care of his uh, younger siblings. And our son Yamil is also a wonderful individual. He has uh, reached the age of seven. And as his big brother Jibril, he uh, loves to be out in the nature and he loves to read and write and count. And uh, our son Imran Ingvar, he has turned five. And also he is... Uh, wonderful and loving human being who loves to play in the nature and he takes uh, such a good care of his uh, uh, little sister Isra uh, who has now uh, reached the age of two and uh, a few uh, weeks ago uh, our family was experiencing a very sad and devastating day where uh, all our children uh, were taken away from us uh, with the social services or from the social services in our country. And uh, they did this to us uh, without providing any evidence of anything uh, criminal that we have done, uh, which is in clear violation of several of the human rights articles. Like, you are not allowed to do that. 
and it violates the spirit of respect and freedom, uh, which are the founding pillars of human rights and of democracy. And the reason they put forward uh, is that they do not have enough insight in our family's life, which is not a valid reason to break up a whole family. And, uh, it has no ground, neither in human rights or in the constitution. And they have done so to isolate our children away from us, the parents, and from the rest of their family, grandparents and aunts and uncles, and also from their friends. Like that, that's really a cruel behavior. That is, not, uh, that is not in harmony with democracy, rather that is tyranny, and it shows the true colors of the present day society. Uh, and to share a little background, uh, we have made our, uh, a choice in our life uh, to not follow uh, much of the governmental recommendations uh, in regards to healthcare, uh, such as the vaccination programs. Uh, we do not believe those to be good or a safe way for us or our children, uh, which we proclaim respectfully with our freedom of thought and freedom of choice. Uh, what others choose is their freedom to decide, uh, but we do not prefer those ways. Uh, and health is for us uh, very important and it's also something sacred. And we believe fully in a natural way uh, when it comes to health. And uh, we believe the key uh, to good health uh, to be located in uh, uh, more than just the physical aspect of the body. Uh, in our faith and understanding, uh, good health, uh, it springs out from a balance between the, the heart, uh, the body and the soul. In harmony with each other and uh, in harmony with nature. And uh, all human beings, uh, you and us and all others, uh, we are protected the right uh, of the human rights such as the right of privacy and integrity and the rights to freedom of thought and freedom of opinion and speech uh, as well as freedom of faith and the practice of faith. Uh, they are all fundamental rights and freedoms which uh, no individual or government are allowed to uh, violate uh, or to cancel. And it is not the government's function in a democracy to seek to try to control everyone with force. Uh, that is tyranny, that is not democracy. In a democracy, the, government, uh, the government's main function is to be a good representative for the people. Uh, for the majority as well as the mi minority. And they have a main duty to show respect for uh, all people's uh, freedom of... Uh, choice and uh, freedom of uh, the human rights articles and, uh, uh, that is the main law and uh, the root system of the society tree uh, and all the other laws and regulations uh, they are just branches or mere branches that uh, need to find their uh, nourishment from the root they cannot take over the root they need to be in harmony with the root and the root is the constitution and the human rights articles. And uh, we want to share the opening articles of the human rights declarations from uh, the year 1948, which is for all people, uh, all nationalities, all colors and all races. And uh, it states in article 1 that all human beings uh, are born free and equal in dignity and rights. And they are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Which means mutual uh, respect, care and love. Spirit of brotherhood. And in article 2 it explains that everyone, every human being is entitled to all the rights that is set forth in this declaration without any distinction of any kind. And uh, we do not have anything to hide in our family, that is not our case. Uh, but we stand up for everyone's right uh, to the freedom and uh, privacy. And we do not support a world or a society which uh, seeks to replace uh, human beings' freedoms and rights with a type of dictatorship. Uh, 
which uh, seeks to overrule uh, human rights with, with force for laws. Uh, no, we stand up against that. Uh, we want to clarify uh, again clearly that Sweden have a good foundation with a good constitution which includes uh, human rights, which is uh, good and fair. And uh, it clearly proclaims that the public power in our country should be carried out with respect for all the people. Uh, which is good if it just follows. It's the same with the human rights articles. It's a very good ground. It just needs to be followed, which seems to not be the case in our day and age. Uh, we have never den denied our government to meet us or to actually get insight in our life. Uh, we have just asked them to firstly show respect and to uh, guarantee us that we have our human rights uh, secured. That they cannot just come in and break uh, our integrity and our right of privacy and family life just uh, unconditionally. They need to follow also the, the law. And uh, they have for some reason neglected us this, uh, although it is their duty. And uh, and also to avoid any misunderstanding uh, we want to clearly proclaim that uh, we respect governments and we believe them to be very important for a good and functioning society. Uh, we do not want to be in a conflict with them, uh, but neither do we want to submit uh, to them when they misuse or abuse their power to violate people's rights and freedoms. And to share a little... Uh, yeah another picture of our uh, thoughts in regards to good health and well-being. We want to put uh, or to share that uh, the main foundation when it comes to good health uh, in our opinion is providing uh, or is located in providing our bod bodies with uh, fresh and healthy water. And our bodies contains uh, around 70 percent water and uh, by providing healthy water for our bodies, we have a powerful uh, foundation to uh, build upon. And there is a big difference between water and water, uh, bigger than most people are aware of. And if we, the human beings, are not careful and caring for the source of water that we are using, uh, we, may, uh, we may harming our bodies uh, daily without understanding the consequences of our choices. Also our blood is a very important aspect for uh, good health uh, and it contains uh, around 95% water. And depending on the quality of uh, the water that we uh, provide ourselves with, our blood uh, will be more or less uh, clean, which uh, strongly impacts uh, on our health and well-being. Uh, in the Bible, it uh, states that uh, the life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. And uh, that adds strength and light to our opinion in this matter. Uh, and aside from fresh water, it, it, it is also important with fresh food, uh, fresh air, uh, fresh thoughts and fresh uh, company. Uh, and to be positive, uh, it is a major and master key to good health and well-being and uh, with this key uh, we can open the door to a very happy and healthy heart. And uh, When we seek uh, to prevent the sickness uh, we uh, try to turn completely uh, to the nature and to natural products and solutions. Uh, such as uh, vitamin and uh, vitamins and minerals and uh, essential oils and oils uh, together with prayer and meditation which is also very important in our faith. Uh, this is our way and a way that we truly can uh, recommend to others. And uh, a main reason that we do not prefer much of the state uh, recommended mm -hmm. solutions uh, which some people are sensitive to, like they believe this is the only way, but uh, we do not agree with that. And uh, it is that uh, modern medicine, uh, they have left uh, God and they have left much of the nature to uh, 
almost exclusively focus on synthetic and uh, unnatural solutions. And it also focuses its uh, treatments uh, more or less uh, exclusively on the body without bringing to mind the heart and the soul, which uh, in our opinion is a big mistake. Uh, and uh, in our opinion these methods, uh, they does not actually heal the body. Uh, it merely covers up the symptoms uh, to bring a short term solution whilst in the long term it may actually do more damage than good. And it is also clear to us that there is an economic interest uh, in the modern medicine and that human and, and uh, environmental interests are uh, not the highest priority or the first priority, which we, we believe is quite easy to see if we just uh, open our eyes. Uh, aside from this, it's also very important with good exercise, uh, good rest and sleep uh, for an overall health and uh, well-being. And health is a broad subject, uh, which includes many different factors. And we do not at all claim that we have full knowledge of the subject, uh, but we stand up for everyone's right uh, to make free and lawful choices for themselves and their children in regards to health and well-being. Uh, and looking uh, into the sacred aspects, uh, we have been developing, uh, me and my wife and our family, a great love and respect uh, for holy scriptures, uh, such as the Holy Bible and the Quran, as well as for other scriptures uh, which carry truth and light, such as Buddhist scriptures and Hindu scriptures and others. And we believe that there uh, are a great blessing in uh, sharing the fruits of those scriptures uh, with one another. Which of course should be done in a respectful way, in a spirit of brotherhood. Which uh, we read from the article 1 of the Human Rights. Uh, and we want to share a fruit uh, from the Bible uh, which mentions the power of God and the blessing of uh, the nature. And it is from the first page of human history, from uh, Genesis 1 uh, of the Old Testament of the Bible, where God says that, uh, Behold, I have given you mankind every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed that which produces fruit. Uh, to you mankind it shall be for meat to use and to eat. And uh, we do believe that the nature and natural solutions they are the best, the safest and the most blessed ways uh, for us and for our children. And it's not right of anyone or of the government to attack us and forcefully take our strong and healthy and loving children away from us because we want to put our trust with God and the nature rather than the state recommended more secular solutions. Like that is not right. Such behavior is actually evil and ignorant and it sheds again light on the fact that the root system of the society tree, uh, uh, it is corrupted by uh, unfriendly forces. I think that's a good way to call them. Unfriendly forces. And uh, we want to share article number eight of the Human Rights Articles, uh, which explains that uh, everyone has the right to freedom of thought and freedom of conscience and religion. And these rights include uh, freedom to change uh, our religion our belief and uh, freedom to manifest our religion in teachings, uh, in practice, in worship and observance. And a major problem in today's society it is the lack of true knowledge and the lack of respect uh, for the human rights article and for free the people's freedom to choose. And this leads people to lose uh, respect for one another. And, uh, it increasingly makes people more and more selfish and arrogant, which is a very dangerous development. And uh, there has always been a struggle between good and evil in the world. Uh, that's clear. You it's just to read the history books. Uh, every religion testifies to this. 
but perhaps uh, these evil forces are more hidden in the modern uh, world than ever before in history. And, uh, we believe that this deceives many people to not see things uh, for what they actually are. And there is a saying uh, that states that if a man stands for nothing, he will fall for anything. And uh, when all that people uh, stands for is material, uh, the world will just keep on getting more and more damaged and dangerous. Uh, that is our clear opinion. And we want to suggest to all that this uh, recording reaches uh, that we should uh, make a common effort to learn more about the human rights articles and then to go on and uh, share them with others and with each other. And uh, we also live in times where uh, very ignorant forces uh, are suggesting that we should burn the sacred scriptures, uh, which is of course promoted with the mainstream, by the mainstream media, which uh, seem to like to promote these things which separates people rather than to promote these things which brings people together, which is also very sad. It doesn't mean that we are against the media. Media is something very good. Media should. Uh, spread the truth and help the people to gain knowledge but uh, in today's world it seems like it's more there to separate people and to cause uh, irritation and anger and, and that is not the way that we support. Uh, such behavior is not healthy, rather people should uh, share uh, fruits with each other and uh, we want to do so and uh, we want to share another fruit uh, and this time it's from uh, a short chapter of the Quran which in our opinion explains uh, the present state of mankind and uh, of the world we live in today. It is a chapter that is called Al-Asr which is uh, which in the English language means uh, the token of time or time as it travels uh, through the ages. Time is not something you can hold on to. Every human being knows that we grow older and older and it's uh, unescapable in this life to, to grow older. In our opinion there comes another world where actually you will be forever young. But in this life uh, it's not possible to, to catch time. So what we need to do is we need to sail with it. We need to be in harmony with it. So it's called the token of time or time as it uh, travels. And, uh, I leave to my wife to recite it in uh, the Arabic language and then I will try to explain it in the English language. And we do so respectfully. Oh. <laughs> In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. With the token of time, as it uh, travels uh, through the ages, barely, mankind is in a state of loss, state of loss, except such as have faith and do righteous deeds, and join together in the mutual teachings of truth, and of patience and constancy. And uh, people may differ in their thoughts and opinions uh, when it comes to faith. Uh, that has always been the case in the world. But the human rights articles, they are there for all of us. Uh, our Christian brothers and sisters, our Jewish brothers and sisters, our Buddhist brothers and sisters, our Hindu brothers and sisters, as well as our secular brothers and sisters. Uh, we all have uh, the same rights and we are born free and equal uh, and we all have the rights to all the human rights declaration. So that's something that we have in common uh, that we should all stand uh, together and united for and we should make sure that no one, no one, big or small, black or white, whoever they are, rich or poor, they all have the rights and we should all stand for everyone's rights. We should do that together that is a spirit of brotherhood. Then we can differ in our faith and we can share and learn. And there is no force to accept anything. Like We share because we have a uh, 
a love of sharing. We believe it's a, a, a big thing in life. A big key to a happy life is to share. Share good with others. And uh, we want to share uh, article number 26 of the Human Rights Articles. Perhaps it's 23, but I think it's 26. It's about education, and it says that education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to strengthening the respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. That is the main foundation. We should uh, learn about the human rights and we should learn to respect them. That's how we respect other people. And it also says that education shall be directed... Uh, oh, I, I said that. It also said that uh, it shall promote understanding, tolerance and friendship among all nations, racial or religious groups. So we should all learn to respect each other, which again seems like when we look at the media and the world today, like it's more that we separate and it spreads a type of a hatred and that is not right. It doesn't come from good, this comes from evil forces and we need to make a common effort to bring peace into our life and uh, around in our life. And the article also continues uh, to conclude that uh, parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that should be given or shall be given to their children. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to their children. Uh, this is something that we want to mention since we are in a situation in our country where we are facing severe charges and persecution uh, for our choice of standing up uh, for our right to provide education uh, that we find to be the best uh, for our children. And uh, the article clearly states that uh, we should develop the respect for the human rights articles and we want to bring that to the surface of attention and to uh, encourage people to do so, to learn about it and to share it to others. And you can find those uh, articles on the internet on pages like amnesty.org and we will also try to post them on a blog site that we have that we will add the link to in this description. And before we end, uh, we want to remind all our friends and others who this uh, recording is reaching that uh, we don't want them to use uh, abusive land which uh, against our government or towards Sweden for what has happened to us or what has happened to others. No, we remind again that uh, the ground is good and the way towards peace is uh, the way of truth and patience which is uh, something that we highlight in this recording. And to forward slander, it does not help anything. Uh, instead, we should act better and greater by being forgiving and merciful and by acting with wisdom and kindness uh, even to those who wrong us. And there is a fruit from the Bible which says that uh, a good man brings forth uh, good from the good in his heart and an evil man he brings forth evil from the evil in his heart. And uh, the mouth it speaks what the heart is full of. So we should be sure to fill our heart with good. At ett glatt hjärta är en god lärdom. Att ett brutet mod sugen i tändningen i benen. The best way that anyone can help us and uh, our children at this moment uh, it is by praying for us in the way that you feel the best. Uh, we pray different ways. Uh, God is for all people. And, but in any way you might pray, we ask you to pray for us and for our children's well-being. and uh, Also to spread uh, a message of uh, hope and peace to others. That will uh, be a true gift for us. And uh, we also want uh, to encourage all who watch this video to come out and to visit the nature. Uh, wherever you are, find a forest, a tree, a park, or a piece of grass to sit down. And uh, close your eyes for a moment and think and reflect. And uh, sing with the birds and the bees. And praise God and remember him
Because when you do, he remembers you. And uh, life often brings changes and uh, with love and light, uh, a sleeping heart may come alive. And uh, we will soon end this uh, greeting uh, with uh, adding a recording of a prayer and a song uh, that we made together with our children. And we hope that you will sing with us. Uh, but before we do so, we want to share uh, one more fruit uh, for now. And it is a fruit that gives uh, light to the fact uh, that God is for all people uh, all over the world. And uh, I leave over again to my wife to recite it in Arabic and I will uh, try to explain the meaning in the English language. من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وعمل صالحا فلهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحسنون. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Those who believe in this Quran and those who are following the Jewish scriptures and the Christians and the Saviors. Whoever believes in God and the last day and lives a righteous way of life, surely their reward is with their Lord. No fear shall come upon them, nor shall they grieve. And it is from a chapter called Al-Baqarah, and it's verse number 62. And, uh, yeah. We end with that, and we're saying, uh, God bless you to all of you. May he bless uh, all of you and your children. We thank you for listening to us and to overlook with our mistakes and our flaws in the English language. My English is not uh, so good. It's, it's decent, perhaps. So, uh, thank you. God bless you. Okay, it says, Heavenly Father, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. So, yeah, thank you all for listening. And Isra, do you want to sing a fine song? You'd you like to sing there to be a dad, right? No. no, you don't have to. Standing, standing by a purpose to heeding God's command. All the children live faithfully through a happy and Det var att vara en Daniel i de här tiderna. Vi hade inte behövt att bli en Daniel, en stand. There is forces who wants us to fall. So stand firm and be with the truth. And God bless all of you. God bless you everyone. God bless you.